Well, how's it going, YouTube? Thanks for joining me for yet another beer review. Today, I'm going to be looking at quite a special beer from Deschutes. Uh, yeah, leaving on vacation real soon here, so I uh, figured pop a sucker. Um, yeah, this is their Jubal 2015 Vintage. Um, best after January 1st, 2016, so it's got quite a bit of age on it. Um, yeah, I believe it's uh, considered a dark ale, just something really generic like that, a uh, winter warmer, something like that, uh, very ambiguous on the style, but it is an ale brewed, or an ale with 50% uh, aged in Pinot and Oregon oak barrels, so yeah, they're coming in out of Bend, Oregon, and this one's coming in at 10 point. 0.4% alcohol by volume, but yeah, let's get this unwaxed, popped, poured, and see how it is. The appearance on the Jubal 2015. Yeah, really beautiful color to it. A uh, deep mahogany, ruby red color to it. Nice amount of transparency to it. It's got a bit of a mert to it, but yeah, looks really good. A finger of a... Uh, really creamy compact tan head yeah that looks absolutely amazing bit of alcohol legs on the glass let's get an aroma wow yeah definitely getting that oak a nice tannic quality to this one hint of booze but mainly just like straight up caramel toffee toasted coconut it smells very barley wine-ish. Yeah, like English barley wine kind of aroma. Yeah, that smells fantastic. Cheers. Yeah, really well-balanced beer. Beautiful, creamy, slightly bitter mouthfeel to this one. Really rich, decadent. It's got a nice density to it, but also a strange lightness as well just really really drinkable sticks the lips together right away really enjoy that in a big beer like this uh, yeah really warming uh, n not hot at all just a nice mellow warming on the esophagus there um, let's see flavor wise all right yeah really dry Panic finish to this one really enjoy that just makes you want to go back for more and more mouth watering almost I hardly ever get that in huge huge beers uh, like huge dark beers I don't get this just salivating mouth watering thing going on but uh, yeah uh, caramel toffee The wine is definitely there. I'm getting a nice deep red wineish kind of taste, uh, but not as much as I was expecting. Uh, it supports the beer. It doesn't overwhelm it, and I really, really dig it when companies can pull that up, pull that off. Sorry. Mm. Lots of dark fruit. Yeah, lots of caramel, toffee, as I said earlier, and then like toasted coconut. Super, super, super well brewed beer. Really well balanced. I'm really liking this one a lot. I would love to age a bottle of this like another year or maybe two or three years. Maybe to the next uh, release of it. Oh right, forgot to mention they brew it once a decade. But this time around, they decided, hey, a decade's too long. They brewed it five years since the last one. But yeah, as a rating, I think I'd have to go 94. It's uh, not blowing my mind. That being said, super drinkable for its strength. Just a really, really, really nice beer. I think age would do it wonders. Not to say that it isn't great right now. I'd highly recommend 
picking up a bottle of Jubal from Deschutes Brewery out in Bend, Oregon. But yeah, your opinion may differ, so let me know what you think of this beer. Any of Deschutes' other beers, they're Abyss, they're Stoic, they're not the Stoic, uh, they're regular beers. All fantastic in my opinion. One or two ones I didn't care for, but for the most part, love their stuff. Fresh squeezed. One of my favorite IPAs to date, but yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Again, let me know what you think of them. Till the next time, cheers.